love this is Leah with the southern clean and wife thank you so much for stopping by i just got finished cleaning or spring cleaning my living room there's still stuff i did not get done the battery is starting to die on my phone so you're not going to get to see it get done but stay tuned and let's get to this video and see what i got done this is what i ended up putting in my diffuser and I put a few drops of vanilla, which is a relaxing, calming, it's just a good smell overall. And then I put some few drops of Good Vibes, and that is more of an uplifting, fruity kind of smell, so it was more of a relaxing kind of smell. So, this is all that I needed to do. I have a ton of dust on my walls. You can see it a lot better here on this deer and my walls are like that they're just kind of covered a little bit in dust we had our air conditioning unit last year kind of went kaput and so we have window units and ever since we had the window units it's like the air is not circulating as well and i guess with us being six people two dogs living in this house in such a small space it just gets really dusty a lot faster i have to do this I guess a quarterly at least because it just gets this dusty and you cannot see the dust on this and I really was trying to show it to y'all but um you can see a little bit there on the ceiling but it was pretty bad up there and I'm hoping you can see it a little bit more as I get through this video but the, the walls were kind of dusted and how messy everything else is that I needed to get done I was trying to show y'all kind of just the mess in general here that was going on. It's not super messy, but um, I wanted to deep clean. So all this stuff over here, that was actually my son's laundry hamper. And um, we're going to get laundry going, and then we're going to start cleaning the rest of this stuff up. I try to give you all a better view of the ceiling and how dusty it was and you can see it a little bit but not a ton but um I did end up getting like little popcorn pieces all over the floor because these ceilings are popcorn ceilings for sure so definitely get a view here of my fan and how dusty it was and I had to I cleaned the bulbs off and the very tippy top of this thing and I am five foot nothing so i have to take that still with me whenever i deep clean this house because i am short and the ceilings ain't but maybe eight feet tall and um yeah this is the dust that was coming off i was trying to show y'all a little bit better but it was coming off the fan and then the popcorn pieces that was all over the chair so that made you a little dizzy i'm sorry and then i'm gonna dust that deer down and everything else my husband is a hunter and he actually killed that deer with his bow if anybody was curious we eat deer meat instead of beef a lot of times um me and my husband both are hunters but i haven't successfully killed anything yet but maybe one day <laughs> as you see here we are just going to take this down and give it a good cleansing because it is dusty and We're going to go over here and start working on the other one also because that one was pretty dusty as well. And I'm going to get these blinds or try to get these blinds cleaning. I had some essential oils and some vinegar and I sprayed that down. And it was not getting it 100% the way I wanted it to. I wasn't coming quite as clean as I wanted it to here. And so I will take the blinds down in a minute and I will take those to get those cleaned and I went ahead and am wiping all that dust off and
cleaning that up because it got really dusty behind the little hanging pieces and here I am using another type of vinegar solution. I actually have the recipe for that one I believe in the link below. You can check that out there. And here we are we're cleaning the blinds off in the bathroom like I said earlier and I'll actually be taking all these curtains and I'll be hand washing them as well here in the bathroom and so let's continue. to show y'all the little dresses my little girl got for her birthday she just had a birthday here recently and so each one of these dresses are $4.98 that you will see and I didn't think that was too bad of a price at all for these cute little dresses they were kind of I went ended up going back and getting the next size up from Walmart that's where they came from and they I had to go to like two different Walmarts because I guess they're kind of selling out a little bit faster this is actually a shirt, and their t-shirts over there for young girls are $3.98, which I didn't think was that was too bad either. And then I got my oldest daughter uh, some skirts to go underneath her, or skirts, pants to go underneath her skirts. And for the package, it was $4.98. I didn't think that was too bad. And then you had a skirt that I'm going to be showing y'all here in a second, and that one is $3.98 also. Not too bad. Anything that doesn't belong in the living room, I am just going to casually throw in this basket and get to it at a later time so that way I can stay focused. We are going to be deep cleaning this couch. So this couch is going to have some kind of random stuff in it. It's not too bad what's all in it, but it does have a lot of dirt. So we had to get it cleaned up. <laughs>
show you this book that I've read. It's called The Clutter Connection, and it's by Cassandra. And she is over on Cast with Clutterbug. It is crazy how she has got the science of organizing down, but she does. And so I've been reading up on that book just to show you all the books that I've been reading. Alright, so as you can tell, I did not get everything done. That is okay. But I wanted to give you like a view of it. My couch is still dirty. Um, I guess it's like my mom used to say, you gotta make a mess to clean up the mess. And so I'm still kind of making the mess to clean it up. <laughs> and find homes for all this stuff that I got. And if it doesn't have a home, find a box or something to put it in. So that way I could be like, if you don't know where it is, it's in that box. If you don't know where it is, it's in that box. Because my husband's, that's the only thing about me deep cleaning is my husband's like, where did this go? And nine times out of ten, I forget. Mm -hmm. I forget. <laughs> so, um... Just try to put everything into a box and be like, there you go, it's all in that box. If you want to know where your tools went, it went this place. If you want to know where that went, it went that place. But everything else went in the box. Because I don't remember. So, let me show you real quick. As you can tell, that is still got some stuff that needs to be put up. But, yeah. I'm not. But the walls are clean. The walls are clean. The ceiling is clean. So, we're good for that. That was important paper. So, yeah. It still kind of looks a little messy, messier than I would want it to look. But I will eventually get better, I guess, whenever you're trying to smush all this stuff together. Like, I'm going to later probably clean up behind here where the dogs are staying because they're staying at night. And when I don't need them to do stuff, they're staying in these little crates. And so I've got to clean these again. Um, just to get them clean better and all behind them and underneath all this stuff. So I'll do that probably maybe today, maybe another day. I don't know. I get tired. Yeah, they're fussy. I'm tired. So I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!